Welcome everyone and thanks for tuning in to another update from Select Sire's Jersey Department and the Jersey Revolution. It's really another nice proof run. Everybody's getting ready for our data from December and ready for the holidays. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving and I'm sure a lot of you enjoyed Kevin Jorgensen's presentation a little earlier. I know he does a fantastic job. We're trying out a little new technology today with the thanks of Joel and our communications department. So hopefully this is going to go all right, but um, we get to use a little slide technology and let you see some data instead of watching me because I know I have a face for radio. So anyway, with that started, Select Sires has a great Jersey history. There's some of the great bulls of the breed listed on this slide. You've got Duncan, Beretta, Sambo, Centurion, T-Bone, Paramount, up to the day stars and Valentino, Oliver P, Chrome, Texas, Barnabas, a lot of great bulls that have made a difference around the world. And we want to continue to make that difference around the world. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about our Jersey program. I think a lot of people don't realize how many Jersey bulls we have at Select Sires. There are currently 235 bulls in stud with stud codes. 185 of them are A2A2. 208 are BB Kappa K scene. 142 over 500 cheese merit. Just a long list of things you can see, 120 over 100 CFP, 229 over 10 for JUI, and 97 over 20 for JUI. Type's really important to select sires, and those bulls that we showed on that slide to start with have always been great type and utter bulls. And the new trait, Zoetis Wellness Traits, we've actually got that data on 195 of our 235 bulls in stud currently. As you know, in the Jersey breed, we've had generation counts, HR bulls, and I wanted to point out how many HR bulls we have in our program. Out of the 230, there are some bulls that are marketed as XD that are, part or, are considered part of our program. They come in, that's where the other five come from that we had on the last slide, but there's 103 HR bulls, and it's something that our sire committee, made up of dairymen from across the U.S., have been adamant about to make sure we run our program a 50-50 split between HR and generation count. So we're really happy we've done that. But we're going to jump right into some new graduates. Uh, it was a big day. Following August, we had a huge graduation day in December with four new graduates. The first one I'm going to talk about is Casino, 14J725. He needs no introduction. He is the Regency son out of the 93-point premiere, out of the connection, Next Dam's uh, first prize circus, two-time national grand champion. And here's a bull that brings plus milk, nice cheese merit, 29.6 on JUI, 2.3 on type. He's A2A2 and BB Kappa casein. This bull, when you've walked around and looked at heifers the last uh, year and a half, two years, you've really liked the heifers that you've seen. They've been nice ribbed heifers, straight lined heifers, and now they're calving in and making that customer satisfaction kind that the Select Sire family of uh, companies and Accelerated Genetics and Generations and Select Sires have been known to provide around the world for a long time. And this young daughter pictured here from out in Washington, an 86 point Casino daughter, super uttered, open rib dairy cow, long dairy frame on her. Just the kind that we're seeing. So he made him a very logical uh, bull for me to talk about and start this presentation today as a first new graduate we're going to talk about. The second one's also in our AG Accelerated Genetic Product Line, 14J, 1502 Vapor, a bull bred down in Mississippi at Riles, Jerseys. Uh, he's a bull that comes in four digits of milk, 1165 of milk, a bull that's 59 of fat, 39 of protein, just, just shy of a 100 CFP, a bull that's 2.1 on tight, got a <clears throat> bull that has a really high rear utter height score, a bull that's A2A2 and BB Kappa casein. He's a ballistic out of a visionary, out of a headline. A bull that you really can use in a lot of places on a lot of matings today with a lot of milk. Next bull we're going to talk about in the Select Sires lineup is 7J1526 Slugger P. He's the Nikon P son that was syndicated in the All American sale. 
He comes in at 161 JPI. He's the number 22 bull in the breed for JPI, according to Active AI that came out just a couple hours ago. And he's the number seven cheese merit bull in the breed at 600 cheese merit. He's just shy of 20 JUI at 19.9. He's a bull that you just love his um, bar chart to the right on his udder traits, especially with a nice four udder, rear udder height, width, 2.2 shallow on udder depth. And a bull that gives you um, rear teat placement of 2.3. So a bull that does some things right. He's another polled member from out at Cass Bergens in California. Um, great family in the Jersey breed that got started. A Nikon out of a Dimension, out of a Venerable, all three, or the Dimension and the Venerable and the next dam. All excellent cows in their own right. So you got three excellent dams and a Nikon P Sun that brings a pole trait and the ranks right at the top of the list and seventh for cheese merit in the breed. Look at his percent fat, um, 0.36, 92 pounds of fat. Tremendous fat bull Slugger P is. And this daughter shows that bar chart to the right. Just a beautiful sweep to the rib from up at. Um, in Wisconsin where we had the privilege to take our Worldwide Sires Tour during World Dairy Expo this year. Just a balanced cow that we got to see that day and just a wide rear udder, shallow uttered, and a beautiful, beautiful dairy frame. And the last graduate for our Jersey program of the four graduates is 7J5052 Closer. Closer's from River Valley in Illinois. The number 20 bull in the breed for JPI at 162 JPI. He's an Iron Man out of a Pharaoh, out of a Valentino. He's a bull that comes in over 600 for DWP dollars. He's a bull that's over 500 cheese merit. He's the number one somatic cell bull in the breed at 2.63. So a bull that has some health traits plus 2.4 for DPR, the number one somatic cell bull in the breed. Just a bull we didn't figure we could leave out of the lineup with a great family behind him. Closer enters the lineup um, as an A2A2 BB Kappa K scene feed pro bull, carries that logo for us, and a great uh, graduate to round out our four graduates that we have in the Jersey breed. We want to talk about a few other Jersey highlights from December. If you, the Active AI just came out. We've got three of the top nine for JPI, seven of the top 20, and 13 of the top 32. So a third of the top of the list comes from our um, trio of family of studs. We've got three of the top 10 for cheese merit dollars. But I mentioned earlier types important to us. We have seven of the top nine PTAT bulls in the proven breed. We have five of the top five for dairy form three of the top six for rump width, four of the top seven for foot angle, four of the top ten for four udder attachment, four of the top four for rear udder height, five of the top five for rear udder width, four of the top six for udder cleft, seven of the top ten for teat placement, seven of the top ten for rear teat placement rear view, and four of the top ten for rear teat placement side view, and the all-important Jersey Utter Index, we have six of the top eight for JUI. In the breed, on the proven side, we're really excited about having those. And it just shows the consistency of our program and what we deliver. And let's waste no time in jumping into a proven bull that we all know and admire, 7J5004 Chrome. Chrome now has over 2,200 daughters. He's 185 JPI. Uh, which puts him in the, I think he's number five, four or five for JPI in the breed. 12.15 of milk, 66 of fat, 43 of protein. He's the number one type bull in the breed, the number one udder cleft, number one teat placement, number two for both the rear teat uh, view traits that are at the bottom of your slide set there, and number two for dairy form. He's 672 DWP. He's minus 0.3 DPR, but with 1,215 pounds of milk and the consistency of his daughters and his data, I think everybody understands why this bull's been so hot the last few years and continues to rank very well. He's A2A2BB, <clears throat> and he makes 
great young cows, shallow uttered, great veining. You, this daughter from up in Canada that I just love the shallowness and the veination on her mammary system. And they mature into really nice second lactation cows, cows that have that high wide rear udder, that depth to the um, chest floor the, or to the heart. And they have more strength when they calve that second time. He is a little narrow as two-year-olds. We've all seen his linear. There's over 1,300 daughters scored now, so there's no surprises. But you get these second lactation cows that won out at Utah this year, the intermediate champion from the Utah State Jersey Show, and you just love the mammary system and the quality that this animal portrays. And then when you get into commercial operations, this picture that Mark Bolin and the guys from Coba did out at Buster Golf's out in New Mexico. Just a great group of animals. They picked all these out of one pen there at Buster's, put them together for this shot, and it just shows the consistency this bull can do, shiring great udders with lots of width, height and width, the rear udder to them. But if you want to look at some CFP stars, combined fat and protein, Triumph's a bull that looks great at 152. He le leads our lineup, Colby. Uh, and you can see the other, Slugger P makes this list that we talked about earlier, a new graduate. And then Dashiell, a bull that's you're seeing a lot of high uh, genomic young bulls being sired by at the current time. But like I said, 146 over 100 CFP. The high milk bull at select sires, and then the breed is JX Triumph. He's a bull that's 2356 of milk. He debuted in August, was one of our graduates. And you can see 156 bulls in our total program, genomic and proven, over a thousand of milk. And Triumph is a chrome sun, so it shouldn't surprise us that he's wet, because chrome's 1,200 pounds of milk. He's out of a JX Gold Dam, out of an impulse. He's the number one milk bull in the breed. He's the number one rear udder width bull in the breed. The number four udder cleft, the number two teat placement bull. This bull's actually gotten a little nicer on his JUI. He's up to 9.6 on his JUI with 2,356 pounds of milk. A tremendous dairy bull to use on some of these tight rib cows that we've been trying to put in with health traits the last few years to really put a lot of flow back in your jerseys that your customers and all these breeders around the world are looking for without having BST on the market anymore. A bull that's A2A2 and BB Kappa casein. And I think as you see some of the daughters pictures that have come in these last few months that we didn't have this data when we, uh, or these pictures when we released him in August, Mark and the team and Mickey across the country have really done a nice job of getting these pictures in. Super udders, when you look at them from behind, they just have that width all the way through. And these are out of our partner herd in South Dakota where we put in jer uh, females for our JART program, Kevin Souza and family at Victory Farms. Just a tremendous group of young cows. You see this, these four group, the forehead and the headlocks, they just really like their um, Triumph Daughters there at Victory, just super wet cows. And then this, I believe when you see our colored breed directory a little later this week when it comes online, this is the cover picture from it and it's a super group of animals out at Wickstrom Jersey Farm in Hillmar, California. And they've just tremendous dairiness and wet, wet dairy cows that produce a lot of high solids milk. But we've also got his full brother in the lineup. He's not quite the extreme bull that Triumph is. 7J 5042 Tyrant. He's 1436 of milk. So another big milk bull, a bull that comes in at 105 CFP. He's a bull that's a little nicer on his linear profile that you see in the bottom left of your screen. He's a bull that's 21.4 on JUI. So just a more balanced option, but you still get the 1,436 pounds of milk he brings to the table, a four-digit milk bull that's just, sh just shy of the top 10 milk bulls at select sires from, that you saw on that earlier slide. And this is a super nice daughter pictured out at Jersey Boys and um, Gary DeGraff's in Pixley, California. Super shallow uttered, just a cow that they enjoy working with. Tim Baumgartner just really likes this cow a lot. She has a lot of um, features that you like to see, just super uttered and that much milk coming out of these type of cows are gonna be customer satisfaction stars down the road. So we don't need to forget Tyrant as we move through 
um, our availability of bulls these next few months. Cheese merit's another thing we look at a lot here at Select Sires because that's the reason the Jersey breed has had the growth is because of their cheese production. And if you look, you can see the JX bulls that lead the way in Dashiell and Butkus and Thrasher, Succession, Erlacher, a new release all time from Crosswind jerseys out in South Dakota. But then you've also got some HR bulls like Miami and Rowan and our new graduate Slugger, all over 600 for cheese merit. So that's uh, 69 bulls here at Select Sires, over 600 cheese merit, pretty um, substantial number to hit in the breed and certainly happy to have them. Talk about another graduate from August that we had, 7J1540 Stormcloud. He's a bull that's a number eight cheese merit bull in the breed. He started, he's the first graduate from our Jerseyland Sires partnership. He's a bull that's 12.7 um, on JUI, but if you look, he's 1388 of milk plus percents. He's 120 CFP. And just minus 0.6 for DPR, a bull that's really break even when you look at how much components and how much uh, milk he sires. An A2 bull carries that Feed Pro logo, BB Kappa casein and a bar chart to the right, a balanced bull that you that I really think is getting missed in the market right now, being um, a Boudreau out of a visionary, out of an action, as Dam's a 90-point visionary. Uh, just a really nice pedigree on a proven bull that ranks high for cheese merit in a breed. And the first daughter picture that we've got in on Stormcloud, she scored 85 out in California at, at Alum Farms. Uh, back in October when the appraisers were there. Talk about a few of the young bulls that rank high. Dashiell's our number one cheese merit bull at Select Sires at 685. He's also from the Jerseyland Partnership. He's over 1,100 of milk, 128 CFP. Bar chart to the right. He's also our number one dairy um, DWP dollars, Zoetis data, if you look and start paying attention to some of those wellness traits. He is our highest bull at 875 at Select Sires. A2, he's available gender selected, got that Feed Pro logo, and just a bull that has had several high calves in the genomic files recently as his calves are starting to be born. Mentioned Miami a few minutes ago of HR option. That's a 606 cheese merit dollars. He's 651 DWP, over 21 on JUI. A bull that's 1238 of milk and 102 CFP. So a bull that does some things right with great four udders. 2.4 on his four udder score. He carries that Robot Pro logo that you see in the book for all the robot dairymen. He's gender selected and he's feed pro. A bull that's doing a lot of things right. A nice Viceroy son goes back to a Sparky. A new release in December that I wanted to touch on, available sext only, is 507J1760 Rowan. He's a Quinn son out of a Viceroy, out of an Isaac, bred at Yosemite Jersey Dairy out in California, part of the Jerseyland group. Comes in at 24.8 JUI, 1.6 on type, a bull that's 2.8 shallow on utter depth. A bull that's two and a half on four udders. Just a real balanced bull that's plus DPR at 0.5, <clears throat> below 2.9 on his somatic cell. Just a real balanced bull that we think with five very good dams, a bull that we've used as a sire father and now he's available sexed only. We also look at LPI when we bring in bulls and if you notice um, our new release in November and Select Sire's Generations was 250J1778 Jolin at 2090. And we still have 30 bulls over 2,000 for GLPI. So just wanted to make sure we shout out those Canadian breeders that look at LPI. DWP is something Select really believes in. We've been on it from the start in our Holstein program. We've been on it. We started testing our jersey as soon as Zoetis made it available. And like I said, Dasha was the number one bull, but you can see both JX and HR bulls on that list. 64 over 600 DWP. If you're looking for DPR, that's one of the places next spring when we have our rollback in, geno or in, in the base values. We haven't made as much progress in DPR We've lost ground actually, so the difference between Holstein and Jersey is getting a lot smaller. These bulls will change that trend when you look at new release robber of 14J1780. You got Thrasher, 
that's a new release, Sext Only in October. Um, Priapus, Magician, Closer, Amp, Dorman, just bulls with super high DPRs. And we're going to talk about Robber first because he's in the accelerated product line from the Jerseyland Partnership, a Pilgrim Son, out of a Viceroy, out of an Isaac, and 170 JPI, bar chart to the right, a bull that's mid 500 for cheese merit, 88 CFP, three points a DPR. He is the number one DPR bull at Select Sires. He's 2.8 on his somatic. Just a real balanced bull that I think you can get a lot of um, use out of in your herds to really work on that DPR issue that the breed has. And 1,300 pounds of milk with three points of DPR is unheard of in the Jersey breed. Thrasher is our sex only release. He's a Pilgrim out of a Viceroy, out of a Soleil, bred at, out at Dick Claus's at CNS Livestock, right at 1,200 of milk, 109 CFP, a bull that's 2.9 DPR, a bull that's 728 DWP, so he has great health traits and a nice bar chart, balanced bull to the right, not the extreme stature, but a bull that sires one point of strength, which I really think on his genomic prediction, which I think the breed needs some strength right now. He carries that feed pro and available sex only. And early reports on his conception on sex semen has been really good. 7J1705 Magician, we still run a showcase selection. We all like to look at pretty cows and this hired gun son. Out of the 95 point Regency and then the 94 point Sambo Molly and then a 91 response has a deep pedigree and people are really starting to talk about the calves. They're deep ribs, straight line calves. <clears throat> a bull that's really shallow 3.5 on utter depth, great four utter at 2.9. The SCR leaders, you can have all the genetics in the world but if you don't get cows pregnant does it really do you any good? SCR leaders at Select, Shock, Avon, Moonbeam, Firestar, Matt, Fizz. Fizz is another showcase bull that's had a lot of daughters that have done well at the shows. Amp, Lemonhead, a bull that you, I got to see daughters of worldwide this spring. And he's the one I'm going to talk about first. He is a Samson son out of the Renegade, out of the Hallmark. Just been a consistent bull from the day he graduated. 23 on JUI, 2.3 on SCR, 123 JPI today. Bull that's over 500 DWP, great bar chart to the right, and a lot of data in his proof now. And I got to see daughters in Australia and New Zealand last spring, super cows that you just really enjoyed looking at. Dairymen really were happy with the daughters of this bull. And he does it with only a, a DPR's break even, minus 0.1 today. But just a bull that settles cows, gives you that balanced customer satisfaction kind. And no doubt, this Lemonhead daughter that was part of the group there in Wisconsin when the Worldwide Tour was there in October, just, just what the breed's looking for. Super udders, tall cows, deep ribs, wide rear udders. He does a lot of things right. Super clean. This one up in um, northeast Wisconsin, up at Newton, at Donna Phillips's. The next bull... 7J1662 Firestar. Firestar is a Baltazar son out of a daybreak, out of a Jace, 1300 of milk, 95 CFP. He's 3.1 on SCR. A bull that's his dam's an excellent cow, then a very good 86 Jace, then a 90 point rocket. And if you want to talk about logos that Select Sires puts on him, look in the bottom right corner. He's available gender selected, he's feed pro, he's robot pro. He's elite sex fertility, which means he's two standard deviations higher on in-house data on his sex conception. He settles cows. And then males labeled him as a superior settler as well. It takes a team to make these type of conception bulls make it to the marketplace, and we certainly have this bull that hits a lot of them from our Jersey Land Partnership. So this bull with six different logos on his page. Tremendous opportunity here for you on an A2A2 BB bull. And as we talk about that, it takes a team. You got to have a great team. Dr. Good and all the guys and gals in the barn, Mel and the crew in the lab getting it done, everybody that promotes these bulls in communications. But look at this SCR. Seven of the top ten in the breed are as part of the Select Sires Accelerated Genetics Generations product lines. 
13 of the top 20 and 21 of the top 30. We get cows pregnant with semen here compared to others in this industry. Want to really point that out today. If you need Jersey answers, we appreciate you joining us today. You can reach out to myself or Mark Bolin. Mark um, does some sire work, but he coordinates pictures for select, so he sees a lot of these daughters out in the field as well. Very capable and looks forward to visiting about jerseys at any time. Both of us do. Please just reach out. We hope everyone has a happy holidays, and thank you again for tuning in for our Jersey Revolution update.